Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's World About Art. So today I'm going to be drawing a little red panda for you and I'll be drawing him in, in I'll be using watercolour, I'll pa obviously a grey lead pencil first, then watercolour and then I'll go over the top with pit pen just to add fur texture and yeah, have a bit of fun just with mixed media. So I'm just drawing in his basic outline first and I got this reference off Unsplash and I actually modified it even more, it's a, it's a reference it's a free reference site, free to use, um, or royalty free, so and copyright free. So, and I altered it a bit anyway because I didn't. I wanted to add the position of the tail of one red panda and the head expression and the eyes of another panda. So, I've sort of mixed a couple of pictures together, but it was lots of fun to do. So, I've just drawn in the basic outline, and now I'm running around with a damp brush, and I'll fill in pretty much the whole red panda with transparent sienna. And they'll use that as my base colour for the whole of the panda. And I'll, yeah, I'll go around and I'll build that up in layers as I go. And I'll also add a little bit of uh, a little bit of burn umber to it as well uh, as I go along, just to darken it up a little bit. So their tails are quite, they've got stripes down their tail, they're quite stripy. So I'm going in with that slightly darker mix of transparent sienna, slightly thicker consistency, and I'm adding that around the tail in the stripe areas. And you can see I've added a teeny tiny little bit of burnt umber just to that on his back, just to darken up the fur on the top of his back. And now I go in for the, for the background, I'm just going to use a, a very light green and I'll also go onto the branch, I'll wet the branch and add a bit of uh, yellow ochre. Um, so I'm actually using another green as over the top just to model that up a bit. So I've just used two of my lighter coloured greens. Um, and yeah, I'm just leaving little gaps here and there. And now I'm adding in the branch. So I'm using a bit of yellow ochre and I'm literally just running that around with a damp brush and clean water. And then I add a little bit of umber on the bottom side of the branch just to brown it off a little bit and I just let that flow into the wood and give a wood grain. I'm not going to do a whole lot of detail on the background because I want the panda to be the focus. So I just do enough to suggest the branch and suggest the background leaves. Now I'm going in and adding a bit more fur texture in the watercolours and as you can see it's just a darker, it's transparent sienna still just with a little bit of umber, uh, umber added into it and yeah I just take that around the rest of his body and I build up the layers of browns and reds as I go. Now I'm adding the trim around his eyes and his nose and his mouth, or I filled in his nose and his mouth, and I'm using a dark grey, like a Payne's grey, and I'll build that up, I'll go over that actually with pit pens towards the end, I'll add the detail in his eyes, and now I add a bit of a brownie grey into the middle in the fur in his ears, and I start to build up the greys and the darker tones on his fur coat. Now I'm adding a bit more, a bit of Caput Mortem. It's a stronger colour, and I'm adding that to his darkest brown areas. And it's a ready brown colour, and I really, it's one of my favourite colours. I love using it. So I'm just taking that around his face and anywhere that I can see darker areas of fur.
And now I'm going in with my pit pens and I'm adding the colour to his eye and I'm using a bit of raw umber and I'll build up the layers. I go in with a little bit of orange too because they do have a golden tint to their eye and they've got cat-like pupils, those sort of diamond-shaped pupils. So I add those in just with my black micron and then I strengthen up the black outlines around his eyes and pop some little highlights in there. With uh, That's actually an ink pen. It's not gel, it's an ink pen. Uh, one of my favourites to use for when I want to add a light over the top of anything because it's all permanent and light fast. Um, and I'm using my pit pens, which also India ink. Now I'm going in to add fur and texture to his fur and his claws and everything else. And I'm using my Faber-Castell pit pens, which are India ink, and they are also light fast, colour fast and permanent. So, yeah, I, I try to only use permanent light fast products so that if I keep things, they last for years. So, so I highly recommend doing that with your work if you possibly can. Um, and now I'm adding greys through his lighter areas. Uh, the white will be the white of the paper. Uh, I will add, later on, I will add with my Posca, which is a um, acrylic pen. So it's acrylic paint, which is also permanent light fast. Um, whiskers and little highlights here and there that I lose as I go along. But now I'm adding the greys and the darker colours into his fur. And I'll keep going around with all the different tones of browns and reds into his fur. And yeah, and follow that around onto his tail and get the texture and get it all, all looking like it's supposed to look. So this is where I'm coming in with my ink pen. It's a ballpoint pen, but it's a pure white ink. And I really like this for uh, highlights and any little areas that I've missed. And then I go back in with my skin tones around his fur texture. So I use two, two tones of skin tone um, for the lighter browns and lighter colours in his fur. And now I'm adding shadows underneath him. Um, he needs to sort of be grounded onto the branch. So I'll just darken up the bottom of the fur with a sepia on the bottom of his tail just to get that darker. And then I'll uh, sort of attach that to the branch with a purpley grey colour, um, which I went over with a pit pen first, but then I decided I needed to make a purpley grey that I could only really get with watercolour. So I mixed it up with watercolour and I'll add that to beneath him just to ground that a bit more. So as you can see, I'm doing that now. And you can see the watercolour and the pit pen go really well together. I'm really impressed with how you can add things to the paper you can you know I've gone over pit pen with it and it hasn't you know made a mess it's really really good really handy and now I add in the final touch up so I finish off the fur around his ears and add any highlights or darkest darks that I think I've missed so I hope you've enjoyed this video guys I really enjoyed creating this piece for you I'd love it if you click like and subscribe and click on the bell icon and that way you'll get notified when I release new videos I'm also over on Twitch which I'll add a link below I'm there seven days a week live streaming and I also play games which is a bit of fun if you want to laugh I'd love you to come along and, and, <laughs> and watch me play games as well but five mornings a week Australia time Monday to Friday I am also doing live streams of my art and I will do a, be doing a, a YouTube tutorial video one day a week so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video guys I had an absolute ball drawing this piece and yeah have an awesome day and I'll see you all next video